Yikes, I don't know if it's still evident. Oh, this is from a couple of hours later. Ah, oh, the rhizome had dried, I wet it again. And then this angle is from the rhizome that's still in the pot. So oh, I think we have a problem with my Cattleya Schilleriana. A quick video. <laughs> oh my goodness, this morning I was futzing around with my orchids. It was wonderful. And I always leave my Schilleriana for last when it comes to scale prevention treatment because she has been a scale issue from jump. You can still see some scarring on the leaves. And I've decided this morning before it starts to warm up, give her another preventative treatment. Also because I had three leaves drop relatively quickly. Now, I assume that could be just because of the cold. la di da di da And then I just took the leaves off, continued treating her. And I thought, well, all those leaves came from one part of the orchid, one section of the rhizome. So I decided to cut into the rhizome. And you can see the cut rhizome right here. Sorry for the clanging of the background. There. All right, it doesn't look that evident now after a couple of hours because it took me some time to get my act together so I could film this. Because of course, now we're going to be following Catlia Schilleriana because she's got Fasarium. Whether she came with it, whether it manifested itself afterwards, I don't share water as such. She was not in my initial flushing regime, thankfully. So it's not like I got contaminated because I have a golden cellar that also has Fusarium that was discovered in 2022. I was unaware, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, as far as I'm concerned, she has not contaminated any other orchids. So maybe the stress has now activated the Fusarium, the stress of colder winter. What I have got going on here are all the tools that I used, <laughs> you know, garlic alcohol and my paintbrush. And here I was cutting away, getting out old roots. I cut my rhizome. All these things are now going into a Fisan 20 bath, including my orchid. Oh, and here is that first rhizome I decided to take out just to clean the orchid up because, you know, you can see the scale damage from yesteryear and all that. And this rhizome, I'm not sure you can see let me just dip my finger into the Fisan 20. I'm not sure if you can see the purple, but I had two purple dots. They were so clear to me when I first cut into the rhizome, even though it was woody and brown. I saw what I saw and I was like, here we go. So, thankfully, thankfully, my rhythm is, as mentioned, to keep this orchid for last when I treat her for scale. So now my utensils are going to go into a Fisan 20 bath. They say for 10 minutes, but <laughs> when it comes to utensils, <clears throat> I'm going in for as long as they can stay in for as long as I don't need them again. So all of that is now getting <laughs> disinfected and hopefully it works. My solution is two teaspoons of Fisan 20 in a gallon of water. I'm gonna put up conversion onto the screen. I think it's 15 milliliters of Fisan 20 to three and a half, four liters of water. So that's what I've got. That's why I have this big bucket. It's totally unnecessary, but hey, I'm going to then dilute it down a little further and just use it as a preventative spray for other orchids. Oh yes, my brush. My brush has also got to go in. So we'll put that brush in because that brush I use to use garlic alcohol preventative measure for scale. Another reason I thought today was a good day as well to futz around with my cat Leah Schilleriana was because the microfibers are still damp. That is great. The pot is totally empty and I was going to soak her in calcium and magnesium to get ahead of the game with the season because I've got one new growth coming right here. And on the other side, it's still very, very tiny. It's hard to see, but there's another new growth embedded somewhere in here, down underneath, whoa, underneath all this growth. So down there is another new growth. And I thought, well, you know what? Calcium, magnesium, let's get this show on the road. <laughs> She's getting a Fisan 20 soak instead of calcium and magnesium. 
Now, you may say, well, it's quite clear that you've got Fusarium because you're seeing the staining on all of the roots. And yes, I would probably agree with you. Now, unless I unpot the orchid, which I have no intention of doing until new roots come, but unless I unpot the orchid, I can also assume that that is fertilizer burn. So it wasn't the signal for me, there's something wrong with my orchid. So we're gonna fill up the pot all the way to the top, let her soak for 10 minutes, and then keep our fingers crossed that <laughs> the other part of the orchid isn't affected. My goodness, it's okay. I mean, you know, what am I gonna do? I've got the situation. Let's try and do the best with what we've got. When she starts growing new roots, we'll unpot her. It's probably a mess in the pot as well because I was cutting out all the dead roots and pulling them out bit by bit. And it was the typical fusarium, messy, you know, degraded stuff. So yeah, anyway, this is great that she can be soaked now directly in Faisan 20, seeing as the roots would be needing some kind of sustenance. Instead, we're gonna pump her full with some form of disinfectant and hope for the best. 10 minutes, after which I will flush her, and then I'm gonna put calcium and magnesium into her reservoir and leave her be, and then we'll watch and wait. And while editing goes relatively quickly, the 10 minutes will be gone in an instant, but would you mind tickling that like button for me a little bit? That would be awesome, that would boost my morale, as well as all the other things that YouTube loves to make sure that my channel kinda gets noticed and gets out there. That would be sharing the video, possibly. And if you haven't subscribed, you are so welcome. Please subscribe, thank you so much. I also have an entire playlist on Fossarium because as mentioned, I've got my golden cellar <laughs> and I've had candidates before that have failed, other things that I've been trying to do to bring my orchids through, etc. that playlist, plus all the videos in there. Maybe they will be of some help if you're looking for more information. 12 minutes later, not quite 10, but anyway. I don't think another two minutes matter too much. I think it's the minimum that is of more importance. So we'll drain the orchid. <sighs> Goodness me. And what we're going to do is flush her as well. Now, I'm not concerned with any of the water spilling all over the place down there. Yes, it's a Fusarium orchid, but who cares? We just took care of it with Faisan 20, right? So I'm not particularly concerned. My flushing with all the water dripping down to the bottom shelf. However, what I am going to do is take another little bottle. It's a spray bottle. I'm going to spray the orchid all around also with the same concentration of Faisan. Because not only are the roots affected, but you know, who knows? where else the spores might be, what else could be lurking anywhere, I don't know. So I just feel like this is probably the best way to go. Also get into that rhizome down there. Yes, I'm spraying onto a new growth, but it's nice and breezy today and she can stay in this little alleyway and dry off before she goes back inside. I still have not placed her outside, even though the nights have been mild-ish. But who knows, just keep her a little bit warmer now that I know <laughs> what we're dealing with and hopefully the stress will be reduced. You can see the scar tissue from previous scale infestations. Funny how this orchid is a magnet and then the next orchid next to it, the Lady of Perinii, doesn't care. You can see dead roots here. I suppose I could cut those off, but we're going to leave all of that. Let me just wash my hands in the Faisan again, seeing as I touched her. Arr! But all of that I can deal with when it comes to repotting. Right now we've done the minimum and all it takes now is to keep our fingers crossed. I hope that this video was interesting, entertaining, if not helpful. Either way, I appreciate that you watched it, that you're here. Thank you so very, very much for your support. And all that is left for me to say now is to wish you a fabulous day on that one condition though, please, that you stay safe. Take care, bye.